What's up YouTube? Today we are going to be installing a well pop. This well just got drilled two weeks ago. It's only it's only 60 feet deep, which is pretty shallow, which should make it easier for the customer in the future to ever take the pump out if something malfunctions. We um, installed the conduit and one inch water line up to the inside of the barn uh, a few weeks ago. The barn just got concreted, so we went ahead and did that. So they could concrete around it. So this, we have to get this water out of here and stuff. We got the 35G, should be pretty, pretty simple job. So let's start getting that dug out. Okay. So the things that you're going to need to do this install would obviously first be your well pump. On top of your well pump, this is a one and one quarter inch threaded male fitting and it reduces to a one inch barb fitting. I'm not going to put it on there all the way right now, but you're going to want to put some thread tape on there. Tighten it down. From there, you hook your pipe up. This is 200 PSI, one inch well line i like to use 200 psi people have used less i just it's stronger it's thicker it's not that expensive at all so put the pipe on your um, barb right here i get a couple of these heavy duty clamps i like to tighten them like this to where one screws on one side and one screws on the other so it's, it's, it's holding on there from two different directions at the top of your pipe will be another one inch but this is a one inch threaded to one inch barbed at the top of your pipe so it looks like that that gets screwed onto a pitless adapter now let me set this camera up i'll explain what this pitless adapter is all right this is a pitless adapter Basically, what you do is you have your well casing that goes down to your water. You take a one and three quarter inch drill bit, hole saw, drill a hole in the side of your casing, stick, well, put a one inch threaded pipe on top of there. You go down to your well casing, you stick this through. Then on the outside, there's these two things little rubber spacer, and you tighten it down. This is going to be inside of your well casing. This is going to be on the bottom of your pitless adapter, holding your pipe right here, all the way down and holding. This will be about a 60 foot pipe from here to there. So that holds that in there. So if you ever need to remove your well pump, you're going to need a one inch. I get a, I can buy somewhere around here it's one inch gas line metal gas line um, anyways when you go to remove your well pump you just take a one inch metal threaded male side thread it onto here you pull that out of there this stays on the pipe and this comes out and that's how you pull your well pump out this has got an o-ring right here that makes it not leak so whenever you slide it on there it makes a tight seal water comes up this way goes to your pressure tank inside your house or hydrant whatever it is this is just a threaded fitting to pull it out all right so in ohio we have to be 36 inches deep for the water line so let's go ahead and drill that hole one and three quarter inch hole a little bit okay that's all there is to that we got our pitless adapter here all we have to do it's on the end of that one inch pipe i was talking about is set it down in there don't drop it take this down there all you do is thread that on there we're going to tighten that up All right, now it's time to hook up the well line from the house to the outside of the pitless adapter. 
I got two clamps on here. I go ahead and heat the inside of this pipe up with a little torch just to get it um, a little bit flexible and it tightens on there better. to try to get these tight pretty fast that first one stripped out I'm off to get another one but anyways that's how you connect it on the outside okay pitless adapter is completely installed we ran the conduit put a 90 on it I just taped that to there most people don't even tape it, it just it's not gonna move that's for the electric to come out here so this customer didn't want to see the top of their well um, well casing, so we cut it off a couple inches under the ground. We're actually going to get an irrigation box and put it over top of it so the customer can mow over top of it. Everything's tight down there, so now you should be able to pull this, your pitless adapter, out right here. Now we're going to go connect all of this to the, to the well, the well line I should say. All right, I went ahead to use thread tape on this quarter, one and a quarter inch um, threaded fitting over to the barb fitting. Tighten that down. And yeah, we're gonna take the top of the, cut this to 60 feet. They suggested 55 to 60, so we're gonna put it at 60 feet. We're gonna heat this up, put our clamps on here, tighten it up. All right, this customer asked that we put another um, one inch line. And what we did is we went ahead and just taped it to the original one that goes to the pump all the way to sleeve the sleeve the electric wire. Um, I use these splice kits. It's really nice. All you do is strip each end of the wire, tighten, tighten the little screw, slide these back over, get your torch, heat shrink it, and then you have a waterproof connection right there. So I'll do that. We already ran the wire all the way through. And then we'll take this rope right here, tied on right here for a safety rope. Not everybody does it, but we already have it here. And I just, <laughs> better be safe than sorry. If that puppy falls out of there, not good news. So we'll do all that and we'll get ready to set the pump. All right, we have our safety rope hooked up. Um, the electric ran to the top all the fittings in, so now it's time to drop it. Sometimes it has a little bit of trouble getting on that pitless adapter, but once you get past it, it's fine. Make sure you line that adapter up right there. Now we just gotta hook up all the electric from the inside out here and go do that. All right, we ran our line in here from our conduit. We had originally ran and in, ran inside, um, hooked it up over here to the 
220. I'll let the electrician make this pretty, but it's set up for now. And this will be hooked to the pressure tank, because over here, the plumber can do all that. So, it's all hooked up. We'll go ahead and cover everything up. Make sure we don't have any leaks down here, which we don't. Everything looks good. So, hope someone enjoyed watching this. And that's how you hook a well pump up from start to finish. And we're good to go. Thanks for watching.